Welcome to another edition of Math Snacks with Miss Lovely and Miss Wonderful. Three times five is 15. Four times two is eight. Seven times five is 35. Three times four is 12. Five times one is five. And four times five is twenty. Miss Glovely, I see you've been working on your math facts. Yes, you, I have. You are really, really good at those. Well, at least those I'm good at. Well, what is four times five again? Twenty. Well, what's four times six? Um, I don't know. We haven't memorized that one yet. Well, you haven't memorized that. What does four times five look like? Could you show me what four times five looks like? Okay. That would be four groups of five. I need a lot more of these. There's two groups of five. Well, Miss Glovely, you look like you have a lot more number sense than I thought you were going to have. Oh, uh, thank you, I guess. <laughs> because you are able to show what multiplication looks like. So if you continue on with that, if that is 4 times 4, and you know that 4 times 5 is 20, what would 4 times 6 be? Um, would I add this way or this way? Uh, 4 times 6, I need to make these 6's. And do you have 4 groups of 6's there? I have 4 groups of 6. So there must be 24. 24. Well, oftentimes kids learn their multiplication facts just by pure memorization. And that's not really true number sense. That's correct. Number sense means the ability to work flexibly with numbers. For example, knowing that 2 times 2, if I was going to say what's 2 times 4, it would just be a matter of doubling the answer. Okay. Or if I wanted to do now 2 times 8, I would just double that answer again. Okay. But we're going to pretend like we don't know our math facts. Because even though you were kind of playing like you didn't know, uh -huh. I know better. You have a pretty good understanding, Miss Bradley, of those numbers. So we're going to pretend. And to do that, I've got to take you into a different world. Are you ready to go to a different world with me? Okay. I would love to go into a different world with you. Okay. We're going to go to a different world where in this world, we're going to use shapes to represent numbers. Okay. Because when little, when little kids are learning to write their numbers, right. oftentimes they're being so, they don't think of this as a seven. They think of this as a line and another line. Okay. Or even when they're making an eight, they think of it as two circles. Right. So I'm going to have you memorize some math facts. Okay. So let's make up some, in, we'll say we're in the world of, uh, what planet should we be on? Planet Zor. That's the, our imaginary world. Planet oh, Zor. Planet Zor. And hmm. you're going to have to memorize your math facts. Okay. So let's do this. Let's make this shape equal one. Okay. And we're going to do two lines going this way equal two. All right. And this shape will equal three. Okay. And this shape will equal four. I'm doing okay so far, I think. Okay. We'll make this shape equal five. Okay. This is six. And this next one is going to be a freebie. Thank heavens, because they're all starting to look alike. Let's make seven equal to seven. I like that. That's like the times zero that's, or the times one. So that's kind one, of freebies. Yeah, that, that's one of my favorite numbers anyway, so there you go. Okay, and we'll make this shape equal eight. Well, I like the two zeros better than that, but okay. <laughs> you like the seven and the seven. And let's make this shape equal to nine. Okay. And what if I said, on planet Zor, tomorrow, I'm going to give you a mad minute or a time test. Okay. over these facts. And there's only nine of them. 
Right. Where in our system, we have a lot more than nine facts to memorize. That's correct. So if I gave you a moment and I said, Miss Glovely, tomorrow on Planet Zor, we're having a, a mad minute or a time test. Could you memorize these facts? Just those? I think I could do this. You think you could do those? Yes. What if I said in five minutes, I'm going to give you a time test? Um, I might be in trouble. You might be in trouble then. Well, what we're going to think about here is this is what it's like for students who don't have com conceptual understanding of how numbers go together. And they're just memorizing, but they don't understand what they're memorizing. Right, because so, the, I, don't, I don't know why that's supposed to be a 1 or that's supposed to be a 6. Yeah, no idea. I mean, you can kind of guess why 7 is 7. But well, I can't guess, but it's nice that I've it's got nice. one. Okay. But if I had you practice them every day, would you know them? Yes. Okay. Now summer comes at Planet Zor, and we take summer breaks, and it's three months of summer breaks. I like summer breaks. Yeah. I remember summer breaks. Mm -hmm. They used to be longer. How do you think you would be after three months? Hmm. I'm not practicing Probably them. not quite as good as I was when I was doing them every day. Okay. I bet, you know what, I bet you would go to your, that next year teacher, and that next year teacher would look back at me and say, you didn't teach Miss Glovely her basic facts. No, they wouldn't say that. No, but they would. <laughs> I bet you we've heard that before. I, I'm sure. I've never heard that. What if I told you I'm going to have this talk to you in a way that you will have it memorized even after your three weeks, your three weeks of summer breaks? I only get three remember. weeks. You Can I have three months? Oh, three months. Thank okay. you. Thank well, you. Well, planets aren't. Well, yeah, we'll give you three months. Okay. I would be awed and amazed if, I if you can teach that to me and make it, make me understand it. Okay. I, I will be awed and amazed by your genius. I would be a really great teacher, wouldn't I? You Ms. would Lovely? be. A, you would be almost as good as, as that Miss Glovely that yeah. I've heard so much about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, here's the deal. Okay. Brain research tells us that stuff like this, if we're just memorizing things that we don't understand, it might go into short-term memory for a while, but it's not going to stay in long-term. Okay. We have to make it make sense in your brain. Okay, so you're going to make all this gibberish make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see okay. it. Okay. Show me your stuff. Here we go. Hey, I've seen that before. Tic-tac-toe. You know tic-tac-toe. It's registering in the brain. It is. Uh, Are you seeing any connection? I think I've got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's my freebie seven. Uh -huh. Eight, nine. Oh, you're tricky. But we gave your brain something to click to that made sense to it. I think I could pass my facts test much easier on planet Zor now. Mm -hmm. And I bet after three months, you would still... I could still draw that tic-tac-toe board and, and get remember. my numbers. I could. So it's really important. The brain research tells us pure memorization of basic facts does not mean that they have number sense and that they can apply that to other things. Do you they suppose that works with other things in math as well? I that, bet it does. That memorization thing? I, I bet it does. I bet you're right. Well, Miss Glovely, thank you for coming to Planet Zor and spending time in Planet Zor with me for a while. And thank you for joining us in another episode of Math Snacks with Miss Glovely and Miss Wonderful.